All right, so we'll do the uh, uh, top hat for the uh, snowman, and uh, let's. Uh, we can bring an image. I guess that's the best way to do it. So let me just grab an image here real quick. Uh, but it's this should be very similar to. Uh, to the um, uh, cat in the hat. So hopefully we can just get one here that's uh, super easy to follow. All right, so let me just drag it here. I'm gonna go up number one, screencast. Make sure that's on. All right. Uh, I'm gonna drag the image. All right, there it is. Same as before. I'll zero in the values right there. Okay, so this one is shot in perspective, of course, uh, but uh, we can model it uh, and then just design it out. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, we're probably going to use a subdivision surface for this one as well. So I'm just going to do Shift A, get a cylinder, and tone it down to 16 vertices so we can control it better right there. Okay, and um, we're not going to do the mirror on this because what we're doing is pretty much um, it can be done by just selecting. It's it's such low poly, right? I'm going to do G Z right here to kind of position the top right there. I'm going to go to X-ray mode, hit tab. We're in vertice mode, so I'm going to select all this here and then GZ to drag it to the bottom. Okay, and we're going to scale this so it kind of matches the. Uh, move it up a bit. Since it's perspective, I'm going to have to kind of go halfway. Uh, the top, scale it. like so and then this one maybe scale it down a little bit just kind of copying this one side right here it'll be matching right there so we're just kind of using it kind of like a reference right there all right so um we know for a fact that uh, this will have to kind of curve a little bit and uh if i rotate this like so this top part right here uh when we apply subdivision surface it will not hold because there's no polygon all right, that's what it looks like. Okay, so right here I'm going to uh, do uh, eye inset poly or inset faces. Okay, so it has kind of like a little ridge right there, and I'm going to move that up a little bit. So G Z. So it has some sort of kind of like a, a little bevel right there, and then I'm going to press I again around here. G. Z to move it down a little bit. Press I again. And G Z. Just so that it kind of goes down a little bit. So now, once we apply the subdivision surface to this, it's kind of holding that shape already. Okay? Of course, need some work on the bottom. All right, so now let's just uh, create the rim. So for this one, I'm going to uh, just uh, expand it basically. All right, so uh, we can delete this bottom part. I'm going to press X and then delete the faces. So we're going to be working on edge. Or you press number two. Alt click, it selects the entire rim. If I got to one right here, I can just press E to extrude and then scale. Just kind of match the diameter of that right there we're looking at number one that's what it looks like okay so now uh, it's gonna be up to us here how we plan to move on with this I'm just going to delete the uh, reference image okay uh, what I'll do here is add some rings so I'm gonna do control R probably two right there okay and then what we can do is if this is the front we can select some of the uh, points on the side right there Okay, so or on the top. So if I want to kind of curl it a little bit, so we're just going to do this manually. I'm going to select those. Okay, and then shift select this side as well. 
So if I go to the front right here, GZ, this kind of goes up like so. Okay. And then select those three right there. We look at the top. Oh, I missed select right there. Okay. And we're going to go GZ. All right, so we're just kind of bringing those up. And of course, uh, one would uh, need to go those two right there. Probably going to scale those. Oh, sorry, that one. And this one. Okay, I'm going to do a SX to kind of just kind of scale them. Kind of bring them up a little bit. Okay. And this two right here, this two at the, the back, GZ, so it's kind of moved them up a little bit, so we're kind of increasing it gradually right there, and then we're going to do the same thing on this one, so that's the front, GZ to go down a little bit, then this three right here, then just that one right there. So we're kind of arcing it a little bit. Uh, we have to do those all three right there. All right, just so basically I'm just kind of sloping it down. All right, the back we're probably going to leave that alone. So let's take a look. All right. And, you know, we can do a sculpting smooth, you know, there's plenty of ways to kind of handle this one. So we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, let's do some uh, finishing touches right here. Uh, control R. Okay, so that would be kind of like the band, I think, that gets in there. Okay, uh, I'm going to go here, object, apply all transform, just so that when I do my extrude and whatnot, it will know what to do. Uh, I'm going to go press number three, alt click this line so it selects the entire thing right there. I'm going to try to extrude this, okay, and what's going to happen is I have a double extrusion right there and then I'm going to try and scale it so it gives it a thickness all the way around, but since I did not control my scale, also the z-axis got scaled, so I'm going to counter that. I could have scaled it with shift z then it won't do it so here i'm just going to go shift z i'm sorry sz to scale z and then kind of just scale that down so it's a little bit kind of narrower so we kind of have like a band right there all right and right now uh we're going to try and give it a uh, solidify so hopefully that will not affect it as much so solidify this gives it kind of like a thickness we're going to go even thickness right there and then all right so now it looks like it's at least on the rim we're not going to see the inside so we don't have to worry about that and let's try and give it a um, subdivision surface smooth shade it all right, so this one is not showing because there's not enough kind of geometry. All right, so let's reinforce those. So let me uh, preview. Uh, and by clicking this one, you see it exactly how you're going to get it, right? So let's take a look at the... Uh, uh, I'm going to put a control R right here. All right, so probably somewhere in the center right there okay and um, we're gonna do another cut right here so close to the base right there so by doing that it, it will reinforce that banding so it looks more obvious okay then we're gonna put another one at the top all right, and probably one right here. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom. I'm going to put another control R right here. By pushing that closer to that, the band is a little bit more obvious now. Okay. 
and then one more right here at the top okay so it's a little more obvious and of course uh, you can uh, apply your texture to this um, and make that the pure black uh, shininess uh, if you want it looking felt or you know go to CC0 and then find a texture that's gonna do that uh, I'm gonna put some sheen to this because it's supposed to be kind of like fabric okay and um, Let's take a look uh, right here. So let's say we plan to add a color to this. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Control Plus. That increases the selection all the way to the banding right there. Okay. And then let's say we're gonna put a red uh, kind of uh, color to that one. So we're gonna call uh, this one will be the hat. I'm gonna hit a plus sign. This one new. I'm going to call this one the hat band. I don't know what to call it, but let's just put like the band right here. And I'm going to assign that, make that thing kind of like Christmassy red. And of course, kind of shiny. And I overspilled it here, I think. Let me see. I think I have my selection so I have to redo my selection or just simply uh, select this one. Oh, I need another ring right here control R once you push that that thing will tuck it in All right. okay so that can be your snowman's hat you can make it taller you can make it more fancy totally up to you okay I'm gonna save this this will be the hat, top hat. All right, so we got our second object, and I'm going to end the recording.